Hey everyone, Jess and V here, and today we're going to be visiting the grave sites of famous people at Forest Lawn and Holy Cross Cemetery, and also going to be exploring the locations of where they filmed A Nightmare on Elm Street and possibly Glen Haven Cemetery next to Gravity Hill. Yeah, let's Woo. do it! Woo! So we're here at Forest Lawn Cemetery. And also we have our guest, Marcus. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, well, we're here, and the first person I found was Stan Laurel. And I absolutely love Stan Laurel because I love Laurel and Hardy. I love their comedy. They were really great and hilarious back in the day. And if you guys aren't sure who this is with their face, give you guys a little glimpse on my phone there and that's Stan Laurel so we finally found Paul Walker Paul Walker was best known for his role as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and Furious franchise he was also in other movies such as She's All That, Into the Blue, and Joyride. Such a nice view. And Walker. So, the thing is, on November 30th, 2013, Paul died in a car crash in Valencia, Santa Clarita. And according to a coroner's report, the speed of the car he was in was going more than 100 miles an hour. Paul Walker. So that was pretty cool that we saw Paul Walker. Rest in peace. Now we're searching for Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. So we came across Willie Murphy Crawford. Willie Murphy Crawford was obviously in the Dodgers and he also played for uh, Houston Astros Oakland Athletics Major League Baseball. Wow, very nice. This is very interesting too. And found Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher was an American actress best known for playing Princess Leia in the Star Wars films and also the daughter to Debbie Reynolds. Sadly, her and her mother died exactly one day apart. Debbie Reynolds. I remember Debbie Reynolds in the original Disney movie Halloween Town in 1998. My favorite holiday is Halloween, so I really loved this as a kid. Still do. She also appeared in the TV show Roseanne as Dan's crazy mother. That was a pretty funny episode. And of course, you can't forget Singing in the Rain. And just ran across this. Dio, my favorite, one of them. Absolutely love, of course, my favorite song everybody knows, Rainbow in the Dark. And also, Holy Diver. Rock on! Woo! Here is famous pianist Liberace. Very nice. And now we're at Betty Davis. And I love her. Everybody knows I like my old school Hollywood stuff. I really like Turn All About Eve. And of course her favorite line, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And I think she has a really pretty view. Yep, very pretty indeed. We just found John Ritter's. Good actor. He did the voice for Clifford the Big Red Dog. Of course, everybody knows Three's Company, Problem Child. That's just a few to name off. And also, can't forget the movie It. Okay. 
Lincoln. Not buried here, but there's a statue. Very nice. So, of course, Jess and I, when we go vlogging, we like to stop to get something to eat. And here we are at Saddle Ranch. I was going to say welcome to Saddle Ranch, but yes, it's called Saddle Ranch. There are two locations, and we are, I believe this is Sunset. This is a Sunset location. Yeah. I have been to the one in Studios City Walk, but I've never been to this one on Sunset. Yeah, this is nice. So we are figuring out what we're going to have for dinner. And this place is like really nice, really big. This is the first time that we came here. So this is our dinner, what we got. These and Jess's. Mm. Can't wait to try this. Yeah, can't wait to try this. Mm. What do you think? What do you think, Marcus? That's very nice. I agree. And now we are here at the filming location where they filmed A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a little dark, but we made it. And here's the house, Nancy from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Sorry for that glare, and the new owners did paint the door black. It used to be red in the movie. So now we are walking towards Glenn's house in the movie A Nightmare on Elm Street, which was featured by Johnny Depp. And that is where he and Nancy were talking on the phone and looking at each other through the window across the street. just got here to Glen Haven Cemetery next to Gravity Hill and this is without the um, light on so you can see how dark and how creepy it is here but we will have the light on for certain things possibly and this tree Jess really likes this tree <laughs> tough tree as I call it <laughs> And that you can hear uh, the sprinklers are on. Okay, so now we have the light on. And it's still kind of hard to see out here. But I'm starting to walk around this very dark, creepy cemetery. And that was just a bug flying by. At first I was like, what is that? And it appears that there's a lot of bugs flying by because I keep seeing them. For some reason, I just wanted to walk towards this tree. It's still very dark. Very dark indeed, even though I have the flash on. And I keep seeing the bugs flying around. Running around us, like out here. Really? Yeah, I don't know. There's nobody out here, right? I don't think so. So, Jess kind of got a little freaked out right now. I mean, I don't know what it could have been, but it yeah. just sounded like someone was running around us. But then again, there's sprinklers out here, but there's, where we're at, there's really, there's no sprinklers, it's there further on out. Yeah, because I've always thought, like, you know, I, I've never heard of this place being haunted or anything. But then again, you know, I don't know if that's, any cemetery could be, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it has to be known to be haunted, but I've never known this place to be haunted, but it is very dark and spooky here. So of course, I whip out the ghost meter. Let's see what this says. Since Jess says that she felt like someone or something ran past her, I didn't feel it. 
but she's surprised that I didn't or hear it. So I'm walking around now and we're gonna see what this thing says. I don't know if this app is a bunch of baloney, but we try anyways. And at first it looks like the readings were getting high, but now they're going low. Maybe if I start to walk this way, it might say something. I don't know. Is that you, Marcus? Is it? I don't know. Babe. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you scared the crap out of us. All we see is a dark figure walking. <laughs> yeah, that was my husband, by the way. We got very scared right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it says, no, no, what? No, it wasn't. Just a figure walking around. Okay. <laughs> so this is the spot where the readings are very high. And now it looks like they're kind of going up and down. But this is also the spot where Jess did feel like someone was possibly teasing us running around. Just making sure, wondering if there was a Kate around here because that was one of the names. Empty, empty what? Like I said, I'm not sure if this cemetery is even haunted. But we were curious to see what we can possibly find. So the next word was break. Yeah, actually we do need to take a break because we gotta use the restroom. But yeah, we're probably gonna be moving somewhere else because Jess just doesn't feel comfortable right here. And, you know, at the other cemetery, we didn't really feel uncomfortness. This one, like, we kind of do. Yeah, for some reason, I just don't feel comfortable, comfortable, sorry. <laughs> I'm already stuttering, wow. Uh, going beyond that tree, like, you yeah, know. Now we both don't feel right. It just was very awkward. Yeah, beyond that area right there. And that's exactly where all that happened. With the yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it could be all in our head or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, I just don't feel comfortable going beyond it. I mean, maybe we should. No, it said cold and it was getting going crazy. My phone was kind of being a little stupid, but then eh, it's probably just nothing cold right here. But it is cold out here. Yeah. And it was sprinkling a little bit. Yeah. The day. Yeah. It's overall cold. And it was kind of overcast looking in dark clouds and whatnot. Mm-hmm. That was earlier, but now it's, there's nothing. Yeah, so we decided not to go beyond that because we just never know what could be over there. And honestly, we're not trying to bring anything home with us. But then again, we are being realistic. You know, we just want to see what's going on. And this is what's going on. I mean, it might not be anything going on. Christopher. I wonder if there's a Christopher around here. Oh, that's... That was my breath. <laughs> it is cold out here, so... This app wasn't lying about that. Soon. So, being in that area and wanting to go beyond that point is a little nerve-wracking, not gonna lie, but this is why we came here for, to do things like this. So, we just want to look around and find out what's going on. 
and knowing you know that's a little it's a little uncomforting over there is a little good enough for me for now anyways oh those are bugs I thought I heard something over there now this thing is saying psychopath and this is where like I said where you felt that and the readings are kind of high over here and I did thought that I heard something over that way Is there someone here named Kate? Oh, it's really high now. I keep thinking I'm seeing shadows, but I think that's just the sprinklers. Okay, now it's going down. Ooh. Sorry that it's so dark. It's just very dark here. Even with the light on. Okay, so it's really high. I knew there was something about this tree, but then again, I don't know music <laughs> it's just saying random words again or is it seventy well, we're looking at you right here that died in the 70s. huh Albert and Grace Denier seventies husband and wife Well, that's interesting. So I get a reading that says 70, and you're looking at two graves that died in the 70s. Hmm. Coincidence? There is a little breeze, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, because I've seen this little windmill moving. But, yeah, there is a little cool breeze. I was about to say... It's moving just like the one at Evergreen, but there is a breeze. Oh my god, it's going crazy. It is here. Stop here. It just said that right now, and you were, like, attracted to this tree. I mean, I know the lights, but... Yeah, the lights stop here. That's weird. That's... But don't you think it's a little bizarre? Like, That's okay, spooky. there's a tree, and then there's the two couple, and then it said 70, and we were just talking about the age. Yeah, and then it says it is here, and then it says stop here. Yeah. Hey, his thing is down. Oh. Okay, we stopped here. Is there something s specific about being right here? Are you trying to tell us to leave because... My car is right here. <laughs> so we've been here for about an hour. I know it doesn't seem like it. But we've been mainly just walking around, recording, taking pictures here and there. And this is the road. And I believe beyond this road, if you walk further and further, is the Gravity Hill that we came to last video. Which that theory didn't work out. I don't know if we did it right. <laughs> or it's just not true. But my meter says Jasmine. And I don't see a Jasmine. But then again, I don't see the names right away anyways of what the meter tells me. Like I said... We don't know about this app, but it's, why not try?
that's bunny elm and we just came from where they filmed the um, a nightmare on elm street we wanted to actually go to the high school where they filmed a nightmare on elm street but it got a little too dark we didn't manage our time good enough so we came across the street from where we were this area feels a little more pleasant. I don't know if it's because there's more light over here. <laughs> Possibly. And we have the word veteran or veteran. I don't... Okay, it's starting to go high again. Is there a veteran around here? Okay, just to show you guys, this is what it looks like. Maybe it looks a little bit darker in the video, but this is what it looks like when I don't have my flash on. And it's pretty dark here, and you can't see anything. Like I said, in the camera, it's, it's a little darker than it really is. I could see where I'm going, but it is pretty dark here. And I'm walking down the road, you cannot see it. But this is just to show you how dark it is. And I can hear Jess over there with Marcus laughing. All right, so we're finished here and it's really dark. And it's freezing. Yeah, and uh, I didn't want to turn on the flash because it'd be bright in our face, but we have a little bit of light thanks to Marcus's camera. And, um, yeah, so we're leaving here. We've been here about an hour, and it was pretty creepy and cold. <laughs> so we're going to go um, head out to our next stop. Well, after our investigation tonight, we made it to the hideaway bar again. I really do enjoy this place, coming here and singing karaoke and playing pool. The people are really friendly here. So, yeah. We're gonna go hang out and chill here. <laughs> so we're here chilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>